Welcome back to Is It Still Good, the channel where we watch older films and let you know if they still hold up. Today, we're going to watch a movie that came out in Aught 3, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. And this one is rated PG-13, runs 2 hours, 23 minutes. Synopsis, blacksmith Will Turner teams up with an eccentric pirate, Captain Jack Sparrow, to save his love, the governor's daughter, from Jack's former pirate allies, who are now undead. And IMDb gives us 8.1 out of 10. Do I agree? Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out. But meh, this one's uh, directed by Gore Verbinski. Stars Johnny Depp, Jeffrey Rush, Orlando Bloom, Kira Knightley. Written by Ted Elliott, Terry Rossio, Stuart Beatty. That's about it, right? This is rated PG-13, like I said, and they go on to say this swashbuckling tale follows the quest of Captain Jack Sparrow, a savvy pirate, and Will Turner, a resourceful blacksmith. As they search for Elizabeth Swan, Elizabeth, the daughter of the governor and the love of Will's life, has been kidnapped by the feared Captain Barbosa. Little do they know, but the fierce and clever Barbosa has been cursed. He, along with his large crew, are under an ancient curse doomed for eternity to neither live nor die. That is, unless a blood sacrifice is made. Meh. Yeah, alright. So I don't even know why I watched this. I think it was like at the behest of uh, a friend I was hanging out with. She said, hey, let's watch the uh, first Pirates of the Caribbean. I said, yeah, sure, why not? And we put it on. I was never a big pirate head, you know? I know a lot of people are really fixated on pirate stuff. There's always pirate stuff coming out. Pirate this and pirate that. It's never been something I fixated on. So for me, like the whole pirate genre kind of misses me. But that being said, this movie is shot pretty well. I do like the color scheme in it. The darks are really rich and there's some good direction. As far as acting, it's aight. Johnny Depp gets a ton of credit for this for, you know, imitating what Keith Richards, I forget who, one of the Rolling Stones. And, you know, that's cool. There was a guy in my spirit of Halloween dressed like him that was talking just like him, and that's cool. You know, it's kind of how I feel about Pirates of the Caribbean, the whole franchise. Now, I'm glad that it turned out in a lengthy trial that Johnny Depp did not poop in his own bed. And he was reinstated as Captain Jack Sparrow and given millions and millions of dollars because he seems like a decent enough fellow. Plus, I feel it's bad for him that he got his finger cut off. You know, that sucks. So... I don't know. I had an okay time watching this. It wasn't like blowing my mind or anything, but it was decent enough where I had to be objective about it. It actually had shades of like Army of Darkness with like the dead pirates and stuff like that that I enjoyed. And I don't know. It's okay. I could have done without Orlando Bloom and Kira Knightley. I, I just don't need them. I would rather just follow Jack Sparrow around. I think he's a lot of fun. Some of the fight scenes are very, very Disney-like, right? It's an action adventure fantasy, so you're gonna get that. Uh, sort of had shades of the Goonies in it, you know? So, whatever. It's okay, you know? And I, I get that a lot of people like this one. It's just, I just stare at it, you know? It's on, I'm looking at it, it's over, I go do something else. It's kind of how I feel about Pirates of the Caribbean. So, if I'm trying to be objective and I'm trying to be cool, I'll give it a number score. But first, let's try to sell you guys my books. Okay, hopefully you guys bought one of two of my novels, if not both. And remember, the Unkillable Joe audiobook is available on Audible now. Very proud. Check it out. Okay, so Pirates of the Caribbean, The Church of the Black Pearl. What do I think about it? It's okay. So what would I give it out of like 10? Like a 6.2. I think that's favorable. That's a good score. You know, it's worth watching for sure. If it's on, you can check it out. I didn't check out any of the sequels. I don't know if they're better or worse. I am a fan of Johnny Depp in a lot of his films, by the way. I, I thought he was excellent in the Burton era, and he is really funny in this uh, at times. So I'll give him that. It's just, I think it's kind of played out for me because of how many dudes I've heard do that impersonation of Jack Sparrow. It's very cringy to me, and um, watching the original didn't excite me. It was cool. It's nice to see young Johnny Depp doing his thing, you know, and being funny, and he carries the film, if you ask me. You know, there's some decent supporting characters that I didn't hate and were kind of interesting and fun. I really like the, you know, the dead pirates were kind of my favorite part of the film. 
So that's where I'm going to leave it. Yeah, 6.2 out of 10. I know it's kind of a lackluster review, but this one's been sitting on my dry erase board for a while, and I keep forgetting to review it. So if I'm being objective, I just... It's already kind of faded from my mind, so I don't have a lot of detail on it. But I think 6.2 is where I landed. That's that's plenty. So let me know what you think. If you're a huge fan of this franchise, which one was the best one? Was it the first? And what do you give it out of 10? I'd like to know. So differing opinions really uh, help me figure out what's going on out there, what you guys like and what you don't. So for me, that's where I land. And I'll see you guys next time on Is It Still Good? Ha 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 ha!